I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about why is she not texting back? It can be incredibly frustrating to have interest in a woman and they're not replying to you, and you don't understand what's going on. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at a lot of the different behaviors that a man should have, and this is more geared towards women that you haven't met before. So maybe if there's a woman that you're interested on Facebook or Instagram and you're trying to learn how to chat it up with them, I got some really good tips here. And this is actually from a girl that I had messaged on Instagram. She had put a post about like, it was a screenshot of like her Facebook and it was like 450 people that were like a uh, friend requesting her and she was making a joke that she's not that interesting and I thought it was funny. So I said, it must be so awful to have so many people interested in you. And then she was just talking about how, well, generally, it's not quality guys. And the behavior of the guys really turns her off. So I said, you know what? That would be really good to talk about. Why don't you share your perspective from a woman, what it's like to be on social media, how do the guys act, what do you like, what don't you like, um, what have guys done to get your attention and what hasn't worked? So she actually wrote me a really great list and I agree with pretty much all of these. So we're going to go down and see what she said here. So I think you can boil it down to two main areas. Like what are you talking about with these women and how do you behave? Okay. So I got a whole bunch of these and guys, if you want to message girls on social media and you don't know how to do it, you feel awkward, uh, uncomfortable, check these tips out, okay? First of all, she says, don't talk about money or material things. And I would agree with that because that already is saying I'm insecure that you would like me for who I am. I have to tell you about all this stuff that I have, right? So I agree with her on that one already. She said, it makes me think you have low self-esteem. Boy, I didn't even know she was going to say that. And there you have it. And your personality lacks, so you fall back on money. Also, we all know people with real money don't brag. That is true. And I really like that she got that right out of the gate. Because a lot of guys make the mistake. They, have, they think they have to tell a girl, Oh, I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I own a business, I make this amount of money to get their attention. Well, as you can see, women see right through it. Number two, having confidence. So far, I only know what you tell me, so make sure they're all good things. That's a good point because we don't think about what we're putting out there, but remember, they don't know much about us, if anything, and if you're starting to talk about negative things, it's going to make them think, who is this guy? Why is he talking about that? All right, the next one. Don't tell me anything deep or personal early because you'll get fake sympathy. And that makes sense because they don't know you. Why would they really sit there and get all invested in some story about how you just got fired or... Uh, your grandmother is attacking your uncle again, whatever the reason is. Um, it's, a good, it's a good tip right there. Okay, this is another big one for you guys. She said, I only like receiving one or two compliments on my looks. I want to know you think I'm pretty, but when it's overbearing, it's a turnoff because the words lose their value. That is a great point. 
if you continually just tell her how pretty she is, it's going to get awkward and annoying. Because what is she supposed to say to that? How many times can she say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you? It's like, now we're on two different levels. You're putting somebody way up there, and then you're acting like you're beneath them. And yeah, it's going to turn them off. And it's an uncomfortable thing to get that many compliments. Um, don't send a selfie. Especially uh, if I haven't gone out of my way to say you are cute yet. It's just weird, and I don't know what to say, because I don't want to tell a white lie. Yeah, so she's probably not feeling you yet, and then you're sending a selfie, and she's like, this is a little bit awkward. Why did you send that? I don't want to see this yet. So, there you have it. She said, wait until she says that you're cute first. Okay, don't get upset if I don't reply quick enough. But this is huge. This may be one of the biggest ones right here. And then make a sarcastic comment about it. It comes off as annoying. We all saw the message. Give us time. If we don't reply, take the hint. Okay. This is big, guys. You really don't want to get insecure by making those kind of comments uh, about sar you know something sarcastic like hey how come you saw my comment and you didn't reply yet don't do it it's gonna turn someone off okay you have to be patient who knows what they're doing maybe they're not ready to reply yet maybe they got a million things on their mind it doesn't matter people will get back to you when you're ready and if you can show that you're just gonna be patient and do your own thing they're gonna see that and they're gonna respect that okay and some women, I think, will test men because guys that are insecure are going to lose that emotional self-control and get upset. And then guess what? You're weeded right out, right? There you go. It's that easy. Now she sees this guy is insecure, can't handle his emotions, got all upset because I took a little while to respond. Bye. There you go. So that is a big one right there, and I'm really glad she picked that one. If it's a brand new person, don't message boring old couple conversations. She said, I once had a guy talking about his vacuum that he bought and how much power it had. And I was like, oh God. Yeah, you know that conversation sucked. Okay, that was a terrible joke. That was so bad, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> Don't, why would you be talking to a girl about your vacuum cleaner and how powerful it is? What, what, are you imply, implying that she should be vacuuming? I know you like to clean, ladies, so how about checking out my vacuum? Oh, man, guys, that is really clueless. Okay. Don't ask, is there anything you would like to ask me? Because there's not. If I did, I would have, or will. And now it's weird, because I said no. Yep, I think that is what happens to you guys sometimes when you like a girl, and you want her to start asking you questions, but she's not. Or maybe you don't quite know where to go with the conversation. So you're like, well, is there anything you want to know about me? Well, there you have it. They'll ask you. Okay, this is another big one. Boring responses. Don't message, hey, hope you had a good weekend. It's so boring and not thought out. And then I'll have to reply a generic boring response. And it's just not good and seems like a chore to respond. Okay, so you can see that women are emotionally attuned to that connection even in the conversation and so if you're just saying these boring things they're not going to look forward to talking with you they're just going to be like oh this is another and this is why i really tell you guys that the phone is for setting dates and i haven't talked about that in a while but really it should be i mean yes you're going to have to do some messaging here and there but you can see this is overkill okay she says, if the conversation picks up, 
I don't like when guys agree with me on everything. I love when a guy can politely disagree and speak his side if it's opposite mine. No one likes a yes man. This is so true. Nobody wants to be around somebody that just says yes all the time. It's boring and it doesn't feel authentic. Have an opinion, okay? That doesn't mean you gotta tell her she's wrong, but just say this is why I think this way about whatever the topic is, okay? She's trying to engage in a conversation and it's not gonna be an interesting or engaging conversation if it's you just saying yes, I like that too. And yes, I agree with that too. Okay. I don't like being asked for a picture of myself. When the time comes, I would love to send you a selfie, but not so soon. We don't have a connection yet, so chill. Okay, good point, guys. Um, she'll send you selfies when she's ready. Stop trying to force things, okay? All right, if we're messaging, don't ask for my number right away and don't give me your number right away. Wait at least a couple of weeks. That way it starts to get going a little bit more personal and real life. Yeah, you know, you can come on too strong and then they want to put up that wall and that boundary. So you got to be patient, okay? One of the things that you'll find is that if you're not patient, it's because you're insecure, that you don't think it's ever going to happen. But it's going to be more likely to happen if you just allow it to happen when the time is right. Okay. Don't ask me to prove I'm not a catfish. It just pisses me off that you think that. And I don't have to prove anything to a stranger. That's true, and I don't think catfishing could happen quite as badly as it did, you know, years ago, because now social media is so much more advanced, and it's not just pictures. It's you know, people posting videos and live question streams and whatever they're doing. So I don't think you're going to be as likely to be catfished if you just pay more attention to details. Okay, if we've been messaging consistently, like say around a month, if I see him liking a bunch of girls' pictures or writing all these comments or adding new girls all the time, it's a major turnoff. All that should slow down the more we talk. I take it that he thinks there's still someone better out there and then I get annoyed and I try to move on myself or worse, I'll do the same thing and add new guys. See, if she's interested in you and she's talking with you, she's going to look at those things. And if you start to do things that really look like you're pursuing other people, they're going to get upset. And then they're going to be like, okay, I'll do that too. Okay, here's another one. You got to be aware of the length of the messages from the woman. Okay, this is important. She says, if I write a word or a sentence, don't write a three paragraph reply. It's too much and it seems like a chore to respond because I feel I need to be writing more as well. And then it just becomes a hassle. Okay, so that's important, guys. You gotta pay attention. You have to be attuned to the conversation. So if she's writing short things, maybe she's busy, maybe she's not in the mood to talk. Some days people just don't wanna talk. I mean, it happens. Some days you just have a million other things on your mind or a million other things you gotta do. So if she's short, maybe it's best to leave them alone for a while. If she's longer, okay, then write a little bit longer. She says, I like when conversations are started by replying to my story or just something way off the wall, like an indirect, direct approach, LOL. It's easier to respond to then, hi, how are you? I hate meaningless talk. So again, you know, she's emotionally attuned to how the conversation is going and the meaningless talk is going to make her lose interest but when you're replying to what's going on in her life or the story, then she's more interested in seeing who you are and keeping that conversation going. Don't ask why are you single? It's rude and can trigger me being sad if I just had a breakup. All right, that's a good question because it's almost like implying, well, 
what's going on? How is this beautiful, amazing, wonderful person that I've been talking to for the last two weeks or two months or whatever it is, how are you, how are you single? Why are you single? It's going to insult somebody, okay? Um, and like she said, it could bring up a breakup. You don't want to do that. After the first conversation, usually I end it by saying I have to do something. So the guy should say something like, okay, hit me up sometime. Something like that. But he puts the ball in my court because then he doesn't seem desperate and I'm 90% more likely to reach out as long as he leaves me alone. And it's funny, I had a conversation with a friend of mine recently who said the same thing. She was talking about a guy that she was talking to and he had pushed to I think get the phone number and she wasn't ready to give it or something like that and she's like I'll do it when I'm ready but she felt like if he if he keeps pushing I already know I'm gonna like lose interest but if if I just wait until I'm ready and I'm bored or I'm ready to have that connection with them I'm gonna do it but she was aware of that okay she says consistency is number one each day of talking makes me feel a little bit more safe and I'll open up more. I don't like guys that pop up once a week. I'll assume he's just bored or lonely and not truly interested. So I don't take him serious and won't invest. Okay, so now remember, we're talking about a girl that hasn't really met you. You're on their Instagram or Facebook or something like that. And so she isn't going to feel too safe around you. So it's going to take some time. And, you know, if you're messaging or, you know, commenting on stories here and there, you know, that's a good way of engaging things and maybe moving forward. But if you only pop up every once in a while, she doesn't think you really care. All right. She goes on to say, nothing even remotely sexual in the beginning. I'll think that's all he wants. Remember, she doesn't know you. She doesn't know who you are. She doesn't know anything about you. And if you're sexual in the beginning like this, it's going to make her feel like that's all you care about. And if that is all you care about, then probably get on Tinder and stick to that. And don't harass people that don't know you. Okay, guys? Now, this is another big one that she said. She was talking about how when she noticed or how she first notices when she's interested in you. Okay? She said, if he's been messaging me first for the first few days or week, and then he doesn't, I'll notice eventually and think, hey, he didn't text me today. So I'll check his profile and see if there's activity. If enough time goes by and still nothing, and I go out of my way to message him first, that is when I know I'm starting to feel something. See that? All of a sudden, she feels your absence and she sees, oh wow, I haven't heard from this guy. Maybe I actually do enjoy talking to him. And I'm willing to bet if you stick to these rules, you'll be doing really good. So she says, because I'll think, oh hey, this guy is easy and obsessed with me. So when he gets quiet, I'm like, hey, wait. Am I not good enough now? So I think it's good for guys to do most of the work in the beginning and then slowly pull away and see what the woman does. Okay, all great points. And she wanted to share one more because I asked her, can you give me an example of a guy that got your attention on social media before like Instagram? And that way guys can see what happened. And it's so funny. Well, I'll get to this in a second, but she says, I was, Asking basic questions with a guy that messaged me. I asked him how old he was and he said 47. She said, I'm 30 and his pictures did not look like he was 47, so I was kind of bummed. Then he said, I'm joking, I'm 34. And I thought this was funny, lol, because no one trying to win me over has done that before. It's funny that she says that because I have said that before. I always think that it's funny to kind of mess around with people in the beginning. I don't know if I've ever said that in a video before. Maybe he got it from my channel. Uh, but no, I have done that before. I'll, I'll be, I'll be lighthearted about stuff like that. Like if somebody's like, oh, what do you do for a living? And then I'll make like a silly answer like, um, well, I'm, a, I'm applying to Walmart and hopefully 
that'll work out because, you know, being homeless for quite some time now has been difficult. You know, you just whatever playful answers you're going to say. It's fun to be playful about kind of the boring information. And he did that. Okay? And that's what I liked about it. When you're playful about information that really isn't that intriguing, um, it, it makes the conversation more engaging and fun and playful. So, and she goes on to say, so it made me think, well, he's different. Who is this? So we chatted a little more. The next morning, he wrote me a message that said, miss me? And I knew he was joking, but it made me laugh because I thought he was crazy. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That guy has a good sense of humor and he's not so outcome dependent where he's like, oh no, I have to say this and that and tell her I make this amount of money and get this. No, he's relaxed, he's having fun. He's not worried if she doesn't like the joke or get where he's going with it. And he probably would say, okay, well, she wasn't any fun anyway and then stop messaging her. So basically he kept it funny and he had that little cockiness, which got me wanting more. It was creative, I thought. If a girl is laughing, she's interested. For me, at least. That was a great article, let's call it. She sent me it as an email, but she really did a great job and she covered so many of the different areas. And I really appreciate that. So say, thank you, because I thought it would be helpful to go over social media and why, what's going on, you know, if you're interested in somebody and these women aren't texting you back, guys, look at all of these areas, okay? You gotta sharpen up your behavior because they don't know you and they have plenty of other guys messaging them. And if you're not the one standing out, they're gonna put you to the wayside and eventually you're just gonna get ignored. And if you keep going, they'll block you. So it's really important that you take a good hard look at your behavior um, what you're talking about, how you behave, how the interactions go, all of the, these things are really important and the woman is emotionally attuned to that. So, of course, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret, of course, is available for Skype coaching. Uh, be sure to check out my podcast where you can find many of the episodes that I have up and I'll keep adding more if you guys keep downloading them. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I will talk with you soon.